Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Today, we're going to learn on how to use the redrum machine. Now, the redrum machine is a drum machine where you could put your kicks, your hi hats, your claps, percussions, any record sample, chopped, of course. And you can manipulate with the drum patterns. It's just incredible. My brother and I used it for like almost eight to nine years now. And uh, we're still killing it. So uh, <laughs> we're going to keep striking River Nile style, son. You know how we do. So first thing, when you, uh, of course, open up Reason, uh, it's going to be empty. So you put your pulverizer here. And then you can put your redrum right here. So now you're going to see by default some sounds here on redrum. Okay, you know what? Let me, let me just do it now. So you guys could understand what's going on. Cause you guys might get tricked, but like, yo, man, I don't want those reason sounds or, you know. Hold on, I don't know why this is not deleting. Uh, delete device and tracks. Delete selected only. So now, redrum. All right. Boom. Now you're gonna have those sounds, which I don't recommend. You know, I mean, there's some sounds you might like, but for now, you're like, yo, I want to use my gangster drum sounds. So, yo, you go, you right click and you go to reset device. Now, what reset device does is it resets the whole channels of the redrum and it's going to be all empty. Check it out. Boom. Everything is empty. Everything is good. So make sure uh, when you put your kick, your hi-hat, or whatever sound, make sure you select the channel so that you know it's going to be there. Don't just go like this and you go in the folder here, you put the sound, and then you try to play with it. And you're like, yo, what's going on? So make sure you select it. Say, okay, boom. All right. So now we're going to go here. Yeah, that's a sample. That's a voice sample from Gotcha Nodding. Uh, okay, so so make sure like you put your sounds in a external internal hard drive so you don't get lost. Make sure you put in a folder. You say, okay, this is my drum, yeah, yo. You know, so that it's very important you guys organize the files because it gets a lot. You know, like it gets very heavy. So if you're not if you don't organize your sounds in the proper folder, you'll just be lost. So always create folders. So now here, boom, okay, so drums, okay. So let me go with the, the magic kit is pretty sick. Um, let me go with the kicks here. You know, oh, that's a nice one. So, you know, you know, this is the kick right here. Um, that's nice right here. And then uh, you could put the claps. Uh, Dr. Dre style and then we're gonna put the hats it's gonna be a very simple beat so that you guys get that idea on the structure the hi-hats here are pretty weak so I'm gonna go to another folder uh, drum kit supply Ultimate producer back back one. Ninth wonder he ha he has some nice hi hats. Always make sure, guys, when you choose your sounds, it has to sound crisp. All right, we're gonna go with this. All right, so boom. So now we're gonna put a, a East Coast, a East Coast vibe. You know, so East Coast usually is tempo ninety. You know what I mean. But you could always play with it, guys. You know, just play with it. Don't be afraid to experiment. So, you know, I always go hard for the for the drums. So, you know what I'm saying? You go. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Then you put that little hi-hat. Boom. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, bam, yeah. Okay. Then. You know what I'm saying? So now, if you want to copy pattern to the sequencer, this is what you do. You go here, you say, okay, you know what, I'm going to put it, say, you know, you could put, we're going to put two different patterns. So let's say the first bar you want it like, you know, simple, right? So you go copy pattern to track, boom, you're going to see this. And then on the other part, you're like, okay, you know, like. That's, you know, so on and so forth. So make sure every time you're pacing the drums, you, you play with the locators. Now, this takes time. You know, it's not easy at first, but once you practice, it becomes very easy. And you have to love what you're doing, you know, very important. And then, see, the problem is now, if you don't clear the pattern, um, it's going to distort. So check it out. It sounds like a phasing sound. You don't want that. So make sure once you're done with the pattern, you go here and you clear pattern. Now it's going to sound very clear. Because now because you cleared it, you see, there's nothing on the redrum. So that's what it is. So you go right here and I'll paste it. And very easy, see. If you want to loop the beat over and over again, you go right here, loop. You know what I'm saying? Like, then if you want to add more percussions, more sounds, you just go, you select the other channel, you grab the folder, and then you check in your banks. You can, you can go on and on. So this is what it is. So this is very basic right now. So just to make sure that you guys are familiar with Redrum. Now on the next class, we're gonna learn on how to use the Dr. Autorex loop player synchronizing with the drums. So you guys get an idea on how to play with the Dr. Autorex loop player. It's very friendly. Make sure you match with the tempo because if you don't match with the tempo, it's going to sound all choppy and you don't want that. All right. So it's going to be very simple. We're going to go step by step. And then every class, we're going to add another instrument, another instrument till you guys get familiar with the software. All right. Real D signing off. Peace.